Tell me what you think of my title, Dalton. Not safe for work. So <laughs> yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Deadly Spooner. We in here with the hype gang. You already know we about to get in here, spit on some kids' necks in this game, but... Just hang out, drop your name, chill out, say what's up. And if you don't want to say what's up, I'm deaf. Don't worry about it, got glaucoma too. Let's get into this, boys. Yo, they should make it to where if you kill Doc, you could steal a stem shot. Yo, what up? How you doing? So you know why people watch me for content? Because I am the one and only... Watch this. Uh. Uh, fuck... Right there. Oh, two are left. Oh my god! <laughs> Haley just said my hat had no necessary existence. Wait, what? You know the, the orange hat that I wear because my headphones hit my head? Yeah. It sent a picture to Haley. And she said that that hat has no necessary Woo! existence. That's kind of mean. Oh my god. I love this hat. Okay, I missed this kid every shot. Oh my goodness, what was that? I don't know. I got 125 for something. I guess he's in that room. To your right, he's in there. You know who Crispy11 Bravo is? I've heard the name. He has, he's an Instagram dude. He's a gun oh, bunny. Yeah. yeah. He's writing a book on how he got injured. He's in that room straight across from you, I guess. Okay. Behind the plant. What's your badge number? Badge number. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Tell yourself it's all right. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Crispy's a bad mofo. You ought to check the snap. It's coming through. It's taking a minute to send. It's still sending. Don't worry about it. It's coming through. There it is. Watch it. Who's this kid? Hey! Hey, that's what I thought. Hey, you dumb fucking redneck. I'm just kidding. I, I love rednecks. They're my favorite people. Cause they can, they can make anything out of nothing. Oh no, that guy down there just one time. I made my wife a bell out of a WD-40 WD pen in a crashing ranch. Yep, 
Alright. I need help, boys! Where you at, bro? I'm coming down, boys! Help! They uh, run towards me. I have a mirror. Uh, I don't give a fuck what you have. I need help. Are they behind you? Maybe. I ain't turning around. That's how you die in horror movies. Your boy needs help. Fuck your boy. I need help. I swear to God, if I walk in here just to get killed by some bullshit fucking... Oh! I really need help though. Hit! Hey, above you. Right outside here, right outside here. He's no health. I put, I put What's good, Keegan? Just... How you doing tonight, big dog? We out here, we wiling, we profiling, we styling. What up? I said that twice, cause I'm crying. Uh, big black flubaganigan. You can't touch my nubaganigans. Yo, it's your boy, Slim Dickens. Coming at you live. Hotter than the ghost pepper, at least that's what my cousin said. What up? Bro, I have a lot of energy right now. I, I feel like... Because you put a dick in. I took that out already. You're lying, dude. Hell no. How do you think I put a whole can of dip in my mouth? I'm talking about... Oh my god. Do I have Overwatch? No. And I will not play Overwatch because I've seen how mad other people get. And I know I'll get even more mad. We here at the YouTube stream central like to keep Angus happy. And losing does not make Angus happy. It actually pisses him off and that gets shit counterproductive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you oh my godding about? The dick up my ass because this game is fucking me. Jesus Christ. Sorry, sorry. Insertion in five seconds. You know what I hate about being invisible is the fact that I can't be seen. I'm I just okay. tried to play music through my PlayStation and Haley said, get off the Spotify. You tell her if she ever says some dumb shit like that again, you're gonna take her out on a nice date for once. What do you mean? I don't know. Oh no! I've been fighting! Oh my god! Why does someone always have to peek in front of me? You, you're just <laughs> asking yourself to get shot. Stop it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die because of you! Silence. Suck a I just went on Spotify and changed your music. <laughs> all friendly. I was about to tear them all up. Oh, oh a, a fucking pi a pistol? How did you guys all die? That's what you get for peeking through my window. You guys are ungrateful. <laughs> 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 
Oh! Do I got one candy bar? No, god damn it. I left the wrapper in my bag. Do you want me to mail you some Rolos? <laughs> I mean, you can, you can mail me some. <laughs> but it ain't gonna be a Rolo. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, bro, my nick, bro, my nickname for Legion is Herpes. <laughs> I'm telling you. YouTube did not hear. You, you stopped halfway through that sentence, dude. You gotta. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. Something with one of our internets happened, and I did not hear nickname at first. Oh no! I was like, Legion's nickname for me is Herpes. Cause you can't get rid of him? Yeah. Not type 1, not just getting a little cold, sir. I'm talking type 2, boys. So he's talking about all the way. I'm talking all the way herpied. All the way herped up. Full herp. Can we make that a term? We are oh. all the way herped up. <laughs> get herped up, bruh. What? Did this electric bullshit just break my lesion? Yeah. God bless America. Yeah. What's up, bro? You want some hell? You want some meth? Uh, I'm good. I, I never turned down meth. Alright, bro, you good. Alright, bro. Hey, stand still, bro. Stand still. Not oh! 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 Oh, give me a lesion. They were coming out of every orifice. What? So did you hear over by Yellowstone National Park they're gonna reintroduce wolf hunts? No. Because wolves are becoming such a big problem out there. Just wait till I Kobe this kid with a lesion. <laughs> Don't look at Instagram. I was just trying to dance like a table girl. I don't even know what a table girl is, but I feel like it's a girl on a table. Bro, I have a new connection on Bumble? Yes! Hey, yo, what up? I don't know who's going to be watching this YouTube video. Probably not any girls, because like, I'm not saying they don't like video games, but they probably don't like dumb kids like me playing video games. But look your boy up, hit me up, slide in the DMs, and let's make it real. How desperate are you? Not very. I just figure I put myself out there, you never know, it never hurts. Listen ladies, my man can eat your ass like no other. Yeah, I'm about to go and buy some Naruto merch. Buy some what? Some Naruto merch. <sighs> We're gonna get clapped in this building. Where's Angus? Probably talking to his blumble date. I know he did. 
didn't choose Pulse. He said AFK. Secure the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. So I'm sitting here, alright, barbecue sauce on my titties. Who am I? Oh, I'm Pulse? Out of everyone I get, they give me Pulse. Bro, fuck off. I've been Pulse. Dude, Pulse is a bald headed fuck. Bald headed ho shit. Yo, they call me the bald headed ho shit. Y'all say that because you don't know shit. Every time I'm spitting on your necks, you're getting cold and shit. Whoa! I take off my socks to unleash my cock because I tuck it there. Uh. Yeah. Alright, there's a guy downstairs. There's a guy. Oh my yep. god, dude. What? Nope. I'm not going there. Oh yeah, you thought, bitch. Glass just raped my ass in here. One friendly operator remaining. Well, I didn't go as planned. Bruh, these kids are not playing around. Actually, they just played. Actually, they just played one round. So technically, they are playing a round. If you want to be technical, dude, trying to get technical, you better watch out. Don't make it a spectacle. Yeah, yo. You bet yourself I did. You bet yourself I did. Yo, I'm, double, I'm double fisting, but I'm not talking about a beer. I hope you know, I just hung up a new chandelier. Cost 50000 put that shit on my watch. You better watch out, because I'm top notch. I, you should have said, that's 50000 I put that shit on my ear. Dude, I'm sick and tired of not ear? being able to pick stuff. <laughs> you, know, I, you know I would not be driving that cavalier. <laughs> Yo, what up? I think it's Keegan still in here, but if it's someone new, what up? I'm just out here spouting off some dumb stuff, but drop your name if you're someone different. If it's still Keegan, talk to me, big dog. Either way, say what's up. Thanks for the support. Love you to death. I hope I don't get cardiac arrest. Uh. Yo, I be getting these death threats from each crew member. I, on the second floor. I hope you know I got lost last December till I found my man. Second floor. Sorry, second floor, sorry. Oh, uh, what up, court dog? We have a vigil. Yo, what up, Courtney? How was work? If you worked. If not, how was work still? <laughs> So, a week, and, oh, a week and a half to wait on her period. Hey, we don't talk about that. I'm just kidding. We talk about whatever here. This is this is whatever you want it to be, except for uh, positivity. Uh. Oh, there's a the yeah, It was great. You made a thousand. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, hell no. What? Let me in this bitch. Oh, that didn't do shit. Damn, fuck! I can't get rid of these fucking hiccups. Hey, Courtney. I'm back home for the week. You're back home for the weekend? What? Why would you leave Nelson Tucky? Nelson Tucky's the best place to be. Especially if you gotta pee. <laughs> the rap dog slum millionaire. Uh, I'm getting twisted. I don't even know what twisted is. I'm getting twisted. Trying to. I don't even know. 
I got, bro, I got so much energy, I feel like I could run a mile, but I know as soon as I run five feet, I'm gonna be like, alright, this is enough, I'm going to bed. Oh, bro, Frost, Frost got... What is that? Barricade the room, gotta protect it. I wanna protect it like I'm a legend. We're on the Tims, this is Spar. Whoa. It used to put and ready to go. Uh I'm in the greatest <laughs> spot of all time. Let me get my camera real quick. Yeah, boy. You ever got that dollar store camera? Oh. Five seconds. You like my my hiding spot, Liam? What? Where even are you? <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's the point. I'm like a crouching tiger. these kids at I can't wait to poop on their neck spit on them oh I got one out here do you want assistance Death is cool. Angus, go yes, I'm off. Marking up, I'm marking up. Come through the window, 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 window. Go off, Angus. <gasps> oh, yes, Angus. Oh! I didn't think that last one was going to hit. Suck on my titties. Ah! Whiff, whiff, whiff. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fucking go off. It's just like when you're when, it's just like when you're at your sophomore prom or like before then and you're sitting there you're asking every girl cuz you don't got a date to the dance and you you're just sitting there hey you want to go to prom with me uh, no uh, you're grody and then finally you just you just hey yo girl what up you want to go to the dance with me what up and then she'll be like uh yeah i guess and then you're just like yeah i got my dollar store camera Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about, Courtney. You like that? I'm an MLG pro. Courtney, would you date Angus, yes or no? <laughs> Listen here. This is a blind date. I'm just kidding. I know who Courtney is. She works with me. It's gonna be blind date because he's gonna chloroform you. Bro, listen. That's my favorite date option. Cause you, I never know what's gonna happen. I, oh, bro, Cavera, you really want uh get you, bitch? Ha, Kobe. Woo, woo, give me them toes, give me them toes. Still missed. Whoop, can't touch me. Upstairs I go. <laughs> woo. Watch this. She's gonna come upstairs for me. Kobe, back down. Uh, I'm in your face. Oh, she got me. God dang it. <coughs> the jewel hits too hard. Yeah. Oh, dude, I thought this—I thought this person's name was Fat Cat, and I was like, "Yo, that's whack." Hit you with that cat. Oh shit! A spider. Right on my teams is a spider. I'm not losing this kill. Oh, 
Angus, you're trash. Yeah, I know. Where's she at? Well, she killed me. Oh, I see her. Oh! I just got my shit laced. <laughs> I mean, if there's, I mean, if there's chloroform, oh hell yeah, I'm glad. You, oh, shit, all right. If we're going on this date, Courtney, you better have that chloroform ready. I, I, I don't play around when it comes to chloroform. Oop. I think I'm coming there. But then watch this. Kobe. Hey guys, you watch Naruto, right? Uh, I watch all the Naruto. I was thinking about, just for shits and giggles, I was thinking about getting the Sharingan contacts. Yeah. Uh. Yo, get clutched up, kids. Get clutched up. Deadly spoon or spoon in the deadlies. Courtney said she's in if there's core for him. I know, bro. I'm excited. Listen here. If anyone touches my butt, only one finger. One finger. Any more than that, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Ah, uh, two's pushing it. Bro, I feel like I should get an alpha pack just for clutching that. I mean, don't get me wrong, we were up. They had, we could have came back either way, but like, I was out there like, brr, 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 brr. I'll push him somewhere. Ooh, ooh, Julie face, ooh. Ooh, you little, you little dirty dog, you. Hey, I'll be right back. Try to get a boy, okay? I'll slash your knees. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I like it. They're spitting on necks and then they're slashing <laughs> Bro, listen. Me and you gotta stream and bro, if I if I get big enough to make merch, I'm gonna get a hoodie. And like this is how like contradicting my channels wanna be like on one sleeve it's gonna say like a hundred percent positivity and then on the back it's gonna say spitting on necks since ninety nine. <laughs> That'd be the greatest thing ever. And then you should put a hundred percent, almost positivity. Holy shit, we getting into BDSM territory. Damn straight. Listen, listen. I know this is want to be public for everyone, but I'm sorry if it's okay. I mean, if everyone just likes a nice little like casual in the bedroom stuff, hell no. Listen, there's so many things to explore. All right, you got chains, you got whips. 
both excite me. Rihanna said it the best, just saying. S S S M M M Everybody watch your face. Horse whip in hand. Oh shit, a horse whip? I don't know, that might tear my back up. Angus, you hear this? Day seven no without sex. I ate two Popeye's biscuits with with water <laughs> to be choked <laughs> without <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's true. What? <laughs> Bro, you just gotta read it for yourself, man. <laughs> Go read Angus's chat. <laughs> just the last message. <laughs> it Why wasn't even me. so fucking weird? Bro, listen, cause that's- Listen. I- this, My channel is for people who feel like they don't fit in anywhere else. Because you know what? I don't care who you are, where you come from, what your background is. You- You will always be welcome. In, in the in the Spooner family. Day 132 without sex. Just saw two mountains that look like boobs. Look great. Someone put that in the chat, or no? That's from me. Oh. Wrong end. If there's chloroform. Nope. Keep going. How about two? I'll push him out so I'll slide uh, no, in keep going. horse whip in one. That's all I see. You don't see Dalton's? Uh, about dog. Two? Who's dog? Who's dog? Okay, these kids are a little bit better than I expected. Dog, I have eight health. Okay. Hit me up, Chief. Okay. Ooh. Okay, thanks. Angus, you asshole. Alright, boys, I just put a fresh dip in my mouth, so about every three to seven Not seconds, fresh. I'm gonna have to be spitting. Angus, he's down this way. Right, Angus. He's here, right there. Yeah. He's running. He's running. What? What? All friendlies were eliminated. But I feel bad. Whoever comes in this chat with just no, no hesitation. Oh, I don't leave. Internet probably. Dude, we all gotta get this internet sorted out, Bob. Bro, we gotta go into game chat. This guy has a mic. He's probably getting really upset. We'll see what Bobby has to say. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Deadly Spooner. I'm spooning so deadly. For a second, I thought someone's name was Degrassi. I was like, that's a great show. I never watched that shit when I was a kid. Bro, listen here. You've never had a childhood then. To to I was just watching Drake too. Drake at the damn game, he swayed as shit. He think he's a coach. <laughs> he said, I, I don't even coach or play, but damn, this shit got me heated. <laughs> but you should see him right now, though. He got uh, he got Steph Curry bad jersey on. You know, he played for Toronto and he's number 30. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, Curry, no disrespect here, but I preferred this team that you were on. <laughs> Yeah, this kid sucks. Sucks big old fat wiener at trying to hit a drone. Bro, listen here. I'm from Ohio. I know about NASCAR. Come here. Shee wee. 
You can't, you can't touch a man going in left turns. I'm telling you. The diffuser has been recovered. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. All right, watch this. Here's how we're gonna play this. I call it so the hard. That means there's a bomb right here in the lobby, there, right? If it's one downstairs. So hey, hey, hey! Watch, can you do me watch favor? You got a legion right there. You got a legion at that door. Watch. Can you do me a favor and say, "Hey, it's a spar." That's a spar. You got a hello right here. You got an hello and a legion. Bro, can you do me a favor and say, "Oh." It's a spar. Oh, it's a spar. Oh, got hit with that LMG. Watch it, it's a lesion right here somewhere. Let's see what The diffuser is no longer in your possession. Oh, lesion, lesion right here. Oh, shit. The diffuser has been I'm gonna play. I've been I'm spotted. Gonna play. I'm gonna play. Not no more, bitch. Why everybody keep leaving? The diffuser is online and active. Hey, bro, we should pick him up. Okay, listen, I can't pick anybody up. My arms are dead. Okay, you watching that? Then I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, I got you. He might blow a hole through this down. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! Uh! Op four eliminated. Get shit on, Bob! Spray and pray! He's still here! Pistol! <laughs> Got him! Hey, Angus, I think what? we should pick him up. Alright. But but listen, I want everyone to know I have been going off these past couple games. Yeah, you have. I, I, they call me the clutch. <laughs> call me the clutch dragon, alright? Level, level 5000. Yo, what up? It's Matty Smokes here. Word on my team. Oh, on okay, cafeteria and garage. So we're gonna be man, downstairs basement. Um, I'm gonna let you fire that. Don't get fat. So... Hey, yo, man, listen. Yo, man, listen. This one sound a little weird, but go to YouTube and look up 100% Angus. 100% sign Angus. Space Angus. Angus like the beef. Subscribe. Okay, we're trying to uh, get it from one of them, bro. I don't shut it down. It's in the police. So, is that a maybe? Ready for company. Yeah, in the Oh, dude, uh, the one about kombucha? Kombucha? Got it in seconds. Op 4 has located a bomb. Be ready for oh, a bomb. Five seconds to insertion. Bro, I told you, that shit 35, 25, I'm going to go on, man. Nah, I can, but all this shit smell like mid right now, man. It's mid. Y'all be safe like that, too, man. They walking around. Man. Oh, yeah, Angus, we should definitely come up. <laughs> Yes, that did. I know. Uh, is that whole garage let's fire. These kids are gonna be sad if they come down the stairs. Bro, I'm telling oh, you, shit, that dude was in, crazy. They in. I did not know they were in yet. Ash just shot the shit out of me. She in the garage. Damn, that she go on pain, on pain. Doc, get her, get her, Doc. She running up the stairs. I'm trash, bro. Nah, you good, man. She, she shot the shit out of me. She running, man. She upstairs. She going around the other way. Yeah, she going around by you, Frost. Oh, I love these call-outs, man. I love this shit, man. These kids thought they knew who they were fucking with. They got glass. That's keys. Yeah, they got a nomad, too. She's shooting she a little aircraft. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. She's shooting them aircraft. She just shot another one, too, man.
and you can get on the fence. Doc holding that spot, Doc's trying to kill something. <laughs> One minute, guys. <sighs> she gotta come down in 50 seconds. She might, he might not even have the diffuser. You might have to go and get it. Hold on, he just spit. Oh, but no, legit. I started laughing so hard, but honestly, it wasn't even that cringe. Then they applauded him more than most people. Like, they didn't even tear him apart that much. <laughs> the whole couch skit cracked me up. I know people with couches like that. Good shit, Doc. Lay him down. Bro, let's go on that flank and run down the stairs. 15 seconds. Oh, he did. He can't play and all that. He did. I did. Op no, eliminated. you ain't Shit, killing me, Bob. Seven and one. What? Yeah, spitting on kids' necks. straight bro listen everyone knows a person with a very uncomfortable couch I guess yours was pretty nice at your apartment which one I got a new one the I old got one was pretty nice yeah Billy sold that one Billy's mad at me still really did he slide up uh, nope. did he reply to your snapchat nope he hasn't opened it and I know he's seen it. Your drone to locate a bomb. I mean, he didn't like see it, but I, I know he knows it's there. There's a way to read it without opening it. Though. Okay, listen. If if we're going back to like freshman year of high school and doing that, I'm gonna be mad. The basement. The basement. The basement. The basement. The basement. Bro, listen here. They don't want to be in basement. Oh. Uh, okay, man. Did you not see a snap yesterday, Courtney? They got a mute. Insertion in 10 seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, they're in garage. Alright, I'm gonna throw a uh, grenade under there. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Well, I'll put it this way, Courtney. His snap yesterday, if it's still up, was about me. He's mad that me and Gregory are hanging out. Bomb. Oh, they don't even have a view on the garage. The garage isn't even all the way reinforced, man. That's what they want. They want you to think it's not reinforced. They're trying to funnel us in. No, I got one on me. They just reinforced well us. He outside. Damn, he came out there and killed me. Alibi. What? Oh, they had a cap can. I didn't know that. Fuck. Ready. Yeah, I'm yeah. serious. No, he said he said that I haven't been hanging out with him, but I went to the Moonshine Festival with him last week, and he's mad that I've been hang going to the gym with Greg, and he thinks that we're not friends. But I'm going to bring it up to him at work because if you're going to ignore me about that shit, it's going to piss me off. Hey, Zone Gunner, join our party.
Zone, I invited you to our party. Did you? Yeah, I did. You should get the invite. I'll try it again. He in the he in that corner. You must recover the diffuser. Hey, right, try. try to run up here and get me if you can. He's gonna hit. He's gonna try and run for that kill. Hey, hey, try to try to pick me up. The diffuser has been secured. The diffuser is no longer in your I possession. I sent you another one. He's still over there. The diffuser is now secured. He just shut one down. Wrong, bro. Did you get the invite this time, bro? No, it's not coming for I didn't get a notification. Yeah, I think so too. Why the shit won't come through? It must be my setting. Oh, there it goes. Bro, Good what? Shit. Good shit. Ten and one. Ten hey, I'll invite you. I'll invite you to our party, bro. All right. What if you don't want to join? Hmm. I don't know, bro. Dude, Angus, 10 and 1, are you kidding me right now? Hell no. Oh, MPP. I'll be I'll be right back. I gotta go switch my laundry real quick and I gotta take a shit, so you got like two minutes. Just kick click keep playing us team. See, but like, yeah, I know he has a lot on his plate. Like I'm not really mad at him. It's just don't I'm mad at the fact that he wants to take all of the stuff out on me. Like, oh god, I did not mean to do that. And just to be the way that he's acting right now, it's not the way it should be because, like, it's just I don't hang out with him that much because we have two different schedules. Are we going on about Billy? Well, yeah, because he's he literally poop, is guys. leaving me on back. red. Why are you inviting us to a party then? Because I mean, I'm not gonna ever really talk smack about Billy because like he, he's my bro, like no joke. I'd do whatever for that kid. Because I mean, he's done a lot for me. Like I, like you said, I'm pretty sure he's just going through a rough patch, which I hope he knows. Even if he feels like he can't hang out with me or whatever the invites always there it's, I just don't do anything now like I literally get off work and come home and stream or I go work out that's about it This kid wants me to play. I don't know, but I've been going off, bro. I just went off 10 and 1 last game. Oh, Am I in your game? Uh, yeah. Oh, spitting on Nick's out here. Hey, Courtney, you 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 like the title of my video? NS, NSFW No smack It's just I think he has some really bad Me, I've been driving pretty sensibly Lately I must be getting at least 20 miles per gallon My truck, 3, take it or leave it <laughs> Yeah, I mean That's probably true I just hope the best for the kid Like we're we're all struggling honestly like moving out living on your own is not easy at all and I don't know I just don't want any hard feelings between anybody because I've already lost enough friends and stuff 
Who, Dalton, were you just in my chat? Yeah, I was. Okay. Why? Well, I saw two people pop up, and I was like, I was about to be like, yo, what up? But then I figured it was you. Oh, no, 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 that wasn't me. I thought you meant earlier. No. Angus is the real one. Yo, what up, Wes? Why don't you get on and play some games? Hey, it can still happen. Bro, listen here. So, I live near Dayton, right? And so, apparently they are throwing a party at a bar. And it's called Anything is Possible. And basically, every all the proceeds to everyone that goes in there, they're going to give the money to help Dayton rebuild that got ripped through by like 13 tornadoes. Well, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Like... People are gonna go get fucked up to try to help. I don't think that's the best thing. I mean, I, I hooray for them. I'm glad they want to try. I'm glad they're doing something good. But I honestly don't think that'd be the best. I'm addicted to my ex. Sound logic. Oh, I feel it. Are we going to try to get Mac on or not? I don't know. We told this dude that we were inviting him, but we never did. I invited him. Who? My friends? Because I hope you know that none of these people in my party are close to Nelsonville right now. Oh snap, I just gave out where I live. I'm screwed. The fans are gonna start dogpiling my apartment. What is up? I just gave away where I live. By accident. Oh, nice. It's all good. I mean, if someone really wants to come knock on my door and say what up. No, uh, the fundraiser, lol. Bro, I'm telling you, that is, it was not a good idea. I mean, it's not a bad idea. People like to drink, people like to party. Might as well have a little bit of fun while disaster strikes, but... It's crazy. Bad. Bro, but literally, like, so... There was, like, three tornadoes within, like, five miles of my house back home. Like, one of our neighboring schools got smacked. Like, it ripped the roof off their gym blew all their doors in, like caved them in. It was crazy. See if I can pop off this game. You know what, Courtney? You are one of the biggest supporters, and I applaud you for that, and I thank you. You're the realest out here. Because it's probably not your ideal way of spending your night. I didn't know you were from Dayton, I guess. I live pretty close there, too. But I don't think we got any. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really in Dayton, it's just, I'm probably like 35 minutes west of Dayton. So basically, I'm in between Indiana and Dayton. I'm like 20 minutes from the Indiana line, and then... Uh, Bro, I can throw a rock and hit the state line. Bro, I feel it. I wish I could throw, my arms are done. Bro, I don't even want to put traps down, I'm about... But no, Court Dog is literally the realest out here. Because I don't know anybody else that... Move, Jaeger! I don't know anybody else that actually sits here for hours on end to watch me spout off about nothing. Woo! 
<laughs> yeah. Too bad that. Oh, never mind. That kid's not trash. He's just hiding in a dark corner. Hey! Someone kill someone in my trap! Big bat. That's my favorite content of gaming. And that's oh my fucking oh, god, god, dude. Same. Twitch has half health. Oh, I just need to get me a gaming PC, bro. Not, not even joking. What? I'm just saving up. Hopefully next year around tax time. If I don't get anything this year, then... Not a quick machine. Oh, Damn, but yeah. Wow. If if nothing gets bought this year, uh, I'm definitely getting something around tax time. It's I'm either going to buy a gaming PC or I'm just going to get a regular camera to do some vlogs and just continue streaming off my P4. I'm not sure yet though. Yo, Angus, I want to come down there and do a podcast, bro. For sure. I'm off normally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday now, but. It, if not Wednesday, I'm off Thursday, Fridays. Or you can just come down like a Saturday, but I get off work at like 6 or 7. And we can just do a late night podcast. Wait, you're off on Friday? Yeah. I have a doctor's appointment at noon, so if I leave at 1, I'll get down there at like 5. Well, this Friday? Yeah, like tomorrow. Oh, bet. We're doing it tomorrow? Big hey, bet. You're chill with it. Bro, I I'm chiller than the underside of my pillow. Chill with it. Alright, here's a million dollar idea. I want to invent... I want there to be like a pillow that has like an integrated cooling system in it. But it's like a natural cooling, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, re water say lines. that. Sorry, I was trying to read. Water lines. Be... You gotta run, run water lines through it. Wait, so don't what'd you just say? I'm sorry, I was trying to read and I can't multitask because I got ADHD. So if I try I want, to like, I want there to be like a pillow. It's a weird Oh my god, who am I playing as? No such. I want there to be a pillow that has an integrated cooling system. Bro, I want there to be a bed that has a cooling system. Like imagine a water bed, but like an ice bed. Like it's nothing like crazy crazy like it's not gonna oh. be like ice cold but like it just has a thick enough layer where it constantly stays cool bro then I wouldn't even care about cuddling with people like that sounds weird to say but I can't cuddle people like when it's time to go to bed and then like I get too hot so then I tell people like back the hell up <coughs> Bro, oh, these kids are scary good. Time to reset, boys. Get rid of your girl for a cool water bed. Courtney, listen, I have to have a girl first to get rid of one. They don't count. I can't even afford those.
Or you gotta get in there. Kill yourself. I guess Jan is going to. <laughs> you see, here's the thing. I I don't buy anything like that, Courtney, because I don't need it. Because I'm the type of person. Sure, I'll have a fling here and there, but flings don't happen because I don't talk to anybody. All right, I'm too nervous. Dude, here's how Dude, here's how lonely I am. My Snapchat thinks I need to talk to people because every time I get on my Snapchat, there's an ad for frickin' Clover. <laughs> like it's just like, "Hey, welcome to Clover. It's the number one dating app where you get to choose who you talk to." And I'm just like, "Listen here, I don't care if I get to choose who I talk to, I'll never talk to him." And here's why. I don't got the nuts for it. Because Honestly, the one, number one reason why I don't talk to people is because, like, I don't know if I talk to people because, like, I'm lonely or actually, ha like, have a thing for them. Plus, like, no one's ever honest in, like, a, like, a relationship. Like, every girl and everyone's just like, I just wish people would be honest on what they want. And what the, the, what the crazy thing is, is, like, people can be honest, but... Normally one party always lies just because they want something different and then it just messes everything up. How did that not kill you? That's what I want to know. What? I don't know, bro. That hurt. I put Buckshot straight into Liam's head and he did not die. Yep. You're not going nowhere, Good Bob. shit. Good shit. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Fuck yeah, bud. Whenever I get on the net, it's always Nelsonville singles in your... <laughs> Bro, I don't want a Nelsonville single. I don't want them addicted to the crack. Alright. I'm scared, bro. Plus, it's just hard finding someone that's actually real. Like, not even like, I just mean like, no one's ever straight up like, with what they really want. Yeah, you suck. You suck. Good shit, Angus. Good shit. He's outside. Because I always get played and. I Bro, I feel that. Are you actually level. kidding me right now? But that's just because, like, I don't know. I mean, it's no one knows how to communicate nowadays. And that's, like, by communicate, I don't even mean texting. Because, honestly, I hate texting people. Like, I'm more of a person, like, if I'm not going to talk to you face-to-face, -face, then what's the point? Like, I mean, yeah, it's cool to hang out. But, like, this doesn't sound mean, like but I don't also want to have someone stuck up my butt 24-7. Like, I want to be able to have, like, guy time. I want to be able to, like, stream and everything like that. I don't and, know, like, bro. I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm not saying it's the same way with everyone, but I'm just, like, most people are, like, oh, so what, is 18 out of the way? what? 18? Are you serious, bro? It's longer than that. What are you talking about? I don't know where the fuck she's at. I'm talking about Haley, like, I'm pretty happy. Isn't she in Wyoming? Yeah. Yeah, she's there with Ronnie. Pretty sure. 
But I'm just that person, like, I'm cool if me and a girl, like, if we're dating or whatever, talking, whatever. I'm cool with, like, leisurely hanging out, like, chilling, going on dates, whatever. And then, but I... I don't I don't want to be with someone every single day like 24 7 like I'm cool with like hanging out in the morning or just going to go get lunch or something and then just do, splitting off doing our own things and no one can seem to understand that Bro, I feel that I don't even watch Netflix anymore to be honest fuck Netflix until they put some good shit back on there I mean there's probably is good stuff but with look, my at, look at Thatcher's name Get chocolate. But like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not even about. I'm just tired of millennial relationships, and that sounds stupid because I'm a millennial myself. Like, and I know no, I do not. a lot. You're a Gen X. All right, whatever. Either way. But I, I'm sick and tired of people are just like texting all the I time. I will like, never. Like, I will never. Not Generation X. Yeah. I don't know. What we we're are, definitely but I will millennials. Never, never. I will never label myself as a millennial. I mean, I have an old soul. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, a lot of the stuff I joke about is, like, it's stupid. But, like, that's just because, like, I, li I don't like taking life too serious. Because as soon as you take life too serious is when you have the worst time of your life. Because, like, there's always going to be something super stressful. And it's always going to affect you somehow. They're going to try to spawn peeking. I don't know. See, I don't, I don't even, like, don't get me wrong, I like watching Netflix or sitting there and watching the favorite shows or whatever, that's cool, but, like, what happened to, like, old dates where you just walk around, take a walk or something, just talk, and stuff like that? I don't know. I might just be a loser, but I don't give a fuck. Are you actually kidding me right now? Oh, facts. Yeah, that's why everyone always wants to say. They're always like, oh, if you don't want to be with me, you don't love me. Nah, it's just I need I need my like free time because we are two separate human beings. Because like I understand that if I date someone, they're not going to love everything that I do and I'm not going to love everything they do. And that's one thing that makes me mad is like when couples are like, Oh, I let him go do this because I don't, I don't like it. No, what you need to do is if one, one party of the, or the other, if one of them doesn't like something, they should just try, even if they don't like is it that much, cool try doing it a couple. Not even that, just try doing something that the other person loves like once or twice just to show that you care because you know it means a lot to them. Yeah, it may not mean a lot to you. Like if I, let's say I talk to someone and like I tell them I like to stream or I like playing video games no offense but most girls will always be like video games are stupid I don't know why you're playing them instead of saying that I wish like a girl would like grab a controller and just like try try stepping into my world a little bit and like I'm totally cool with doing the same thing like I don't know hey if anyone has barbed wire put it right there so Dalton, what's the podcast about tomorrow? God, I don't even know. I, I want to do something like a controversial topic in a way. Go on a hike. Oh, for sure. Hiking's always a good option. What Not kind of controversial topic? Topic can we cover? What what topic do me and you know a lot about, or not even just have to know a lot about? What what do we feel like we could? Hunting. People don't like hunting. No, I'm not talking about hunting. I don't really hunt. I really missed you. Come here. I really missed you again. It's okay, I'm dead. Oh my sweet flying fuck, dude. Everybody keeps stealing my fucking kills. One up, four remaining. Oh 
out that door. What? I'm so mad at that. But honestly, I stopped t talking to girls just for one reason, like, I feel like unless I have a natural connection with someone, I'm not going to talk to them. Not only that, I'm still just trying to figure my shit out, like, because, I mean, I'm not a top streamer yet, and I know that to be a top streamer, you really got to grind. Exactly. Bro, y you know, here's one thing that I'm mad about. Call me dumb, call me weird, but I want to go on a date with a girl to like a nice fancy restaurant where you get dressed up in like a suit. Now don't get me wrong, I know there's nothing really like that in Ohio, and I know that's a lot of money to go to a restaurant like that, but like, I want to dress up, go dancing or some shit like that. I can't dance, but I just think it'd be fun. I mean, that's, re that's reasonable. Well, I just look at it like this, like, dude, my grandpa would always tell me stories about, like, him taking my grandma on dates and stuff like that, just like, th they wouldn't even really do nothing, like, they would just go on a drive, go to, like, a little drive-in, get some food, and then just, like, sit and talk and drive around, like, no one does that anymore, really. Now don't get me wrong, everyone in a country song is just like, yeah, I got my lady, we're going on a country drive. See you on the other side. He, he shot me in the head, that's why I Clear. vote to kick. Yeah, well, you see, it's going to be a no for me, Bob. Sweet fuck, I hate Cavs so fucking much. No fuse! You have him, Angus, you have him. Good uh, shit, bro. Good fucking shit. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm on something tonight. I'm on crack or something. You I are. Don't know. Maybe I'm just playing against trash kids. I'm just kidding. They probably are, just don't play the game much. Positivity. Let's get it. Alright, Dalton. What are we streaming our podcast on? You could do YouTube, just get a face cam. I mean, yeah, true. Or we could just use our phone and just set up a live stream from our phone or something. What kind of computer do you have? Who? You. I have a Windows. I have a HP and V360 or something like that. I have an Asus. <laughs> I don't know why that found that funny, but <laughs> it's a gaming laptop. I'm so tempted to pull one of your A lot of girls talk about updates and oh, he didn't spend any money or some stupid slip. I've heard a lot of girls talk about their dates and it's all. He didn't spend any money or some shit ever, and laughing at nothing would be a day. You wanna know the first date that I ever went on with Haley? We went to Kroger. We went to, to Kroger, I forget what we got. 
Yeah, we went to Kroger, and then uh, I think we we actually drove around for a while. And that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. See, I'm just the type of person doesn't. like like I don't I don't expect a whole lot. Like I just want to like be real with someone. Like I'm tired of people putting up a fake persona. Like you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, yeah, 100%. We've all had to deal with that. Well, like, the big thing for me is, like, people date people because they're lonely. Watch out, move. Uh, got my kills. But, like, because, like, so many people are, like, they'll pretend to like you until you do something stupid. Like, and I hate... I hate that nowadays you cannot trust people. Like that's one big thing why I don't get in a lot of relationships. Like I know a lot of it's me because like I feel like I know if I trust basically trust for me is the biggest thing. Because like it's you hard trust me, Angus. Yes, Liam, but like what I mean though is like I've dated girls who literally named guys that they were snapping behind my back under girls names in their snaps just so like I wouldn't know but I found out because like we'd be hanging out and stuff like that and like I just see her snapchats blowing up from every everything and I just be like alright listen I know you got friends but I don't think you got that many friends not trying to be mean but then like one day I just I mean this is bad on me but like I just opened one of the snaps and it was literally under I forget what the name was under something dumb but like I opened the snap and it was just a dude shirtless and I was like fuck that shit see exactly like honestly to me a perfect relationship is like being best friends but honestly like best friends but with like more every well obviously duh you're dating but I don't know I'm just tired of fucking around nowadays even though I haven't had butt in so long but it's just like I don't know I'm just tired I'm tired of trying and getting I think let that's down what, I think that's what you should do when you get there Dalton you should try to get angst laid hell no uh, there's no one in I'm Nelsonville kidding. I'm kidding I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it, but there's only crackheads here. Yeah, there's no one in Nelsonville for me to bone either, so I don't expect that. And here yeah, comes the guy talk. Down. You know what we call this? We call this cock talk. Yo, what up? We're men. All we think about is booty. <laughs> no, but listen. All right, so here's what I found out. Toxic masculinity. Crackheads are cheap though. Facts. But like, honestly though, you should name your stream Toxic Masculinity. No, because I'm definitely no one's watching it. Cause you're gonna see a bunch of like regular people go through. Like, I don't want to hear anything about that. Anyway, oh, go on. but like, this doesn't sound really weird. But like, honestly, if I if I'm gonna clap cheeks with someone, I would rather it be someone I care about. Like. I thought I like That's there's cute. Aww. dude to me it's way better just cuz like there's actually a connection there and you're not just clapping cheeks to yeah, clap and cheeks. you can and you, you can lay down there and cuddle with them afterwards I don't know about the cuddling cuz once I'm like hot I don't I don't like to cuddle I, I don't at all I don't care what anyone says I'm a I'm like a fucking heater I swear if I get shot by this little fucker one more time <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah, I get fucking shit on. I hear voices. Bro, if this game will not let me fucking lay down a fucking trap. Yeah, you done fucks with the wrong kid. Doc, Doc. Doc, thank you. 
that's good enough for now. You guys, it's not letting me lay down frost traps at all. Okay. As you lay one down. Okay, outside. But it's not letting me lay one. Why do you think I am what I am? If I know the guy. Hey, we got care. two right here. We got one right here outside. Oh, facts. Way. And we got one like five meters away. Plus, like, I don't, I don't really just like fucking around because, like, you, like, I don't know. It's like weird to me because, like, I know as soon as, like, they leave, they're I want to go for someone else. Who is he? Twitch? Yeah, Twitch full health. Oh my god. Bro, it's not letting me fucking... We can hear that, Angus. Yeah, but it won't let me place it. That's what's pissing me off. Yeah, nice try. Got him. Watch this kid. He, I heard him jump through the window. That was Twitch. Yep, got him. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this podcast tomorrow, Dalton. I feel like it should be one of those things if you come down, like, we just, whatever we come up with first, like, because, I mean, I, wa I don't know, I kind of want to do a serious one, but I, I want to do, like, a serious funny one. Like, like, you sort of, like, start out joking, and then, like, y you narrow it into, like, some serious business. Oh, yeah, 100%. Honestly, I kind of want to talk about growing up. Ooh, that's a good one. Like, the hardships of growing up and just how, like, different... Because, like, I mean, me and you probably grew up a little bit different than each other, if not a whole lot different. Yeah. They have the one dude that disappears when you see him. I don't know, the individual, I think? Yeah. Uh, you already... You automatically know when they have him because it fucking lights up your screen. Because honestly, that, that's been on my mind a lot lately, is just the fact of, like, growing up. Growing like, up and getting so, out of the house. Just not even that, just being out, I mean, obviously getting out on your own, but, like, yeah, getting out of the house. But, like, I don't know, it's just, to make your way, I'm not even going to get into it tonight. I'm going to wait till we fucking podcast it. So, listen, I don't know who's, well, obviously it's just Courtney watching, but now, but stay tuned for our podcast tomorrow. For some seriousness, but also some joking. Oh, you pussy. Bonna, come over here.
Careful, they got, they got lesion. Alright, buddy's trying to. Are you fucking me, dude? Dude, Rook has 25%, less than 25% here. Yeah, he's got Concrete wall. Don, are we doing it live or are we going to record it? That's what I'm thinking of. Like, I think we I'm should record it. Record. Yeah, and just like chop it up. So there's like an awkward pause. Bro, where the fuck have I been spotted by? Oh. Fucking mega angus. Where am I being spotted by? Ten seconds left. Hostile activity resumes in the container once the threat is in. Other door, other door. Thinking like, bro, you want a 21 Pilots concert? I'm jelly, and you'd even invite to invite me. That's terrible. We're not friends no more, Courtney. All right, but what were you saying, Dolly? Do, do you still have a couch in your house? I got two. If we really want to. We each could get a couch. Big man status. I'm saying we just like. Do you still have the couch with like the space that's in the middle of it? The one that has the charging port on it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm saying we like sit there, either like light up a smoke or something. What do you mean by a smoke? <sighs> Anything. Alright, what about vaping? I got a jewel. Yeah, vape is chill. I mean, I'm chill with whatever. I just know I don't have enough people on my channel, but I don't want my dad happening to see something by something. I mean, like, you know, the devil's lettuce. Plus, we live in Ohio where it's, de uh, I mean, it's decriminalized most places. But. Hey, we need a. Hey, yo, what up? Thanks for viewing the channel. Give me a like. Subscribe, turn on them bells if you like what you see here. It's just some. Um, a, uh, probably a, Never mind, they left. Oh, I'm so sad. Why does everyone always do that to me? Enemy is about to scan the area. Our teammates retarded. You're retarded. But yeah, Courtney, that is how it is. He's not going to tell me about a 21 Pilots content concert. Get your fucking head. I tagged one. Dude. 
Two down. I need help. I need help. I need help. Yeah, dumb bitch. Good fucking shit, Angus. Good fucking shit. I don't know where this other guy is. I'm not trying to get. Oh, he's far. He's far. He's far. He's far. Uh, I'm not worried about the him. Fucking make a wish, kid. <laughs> Get out of my way, Echo! It's a fucking glass. Push it, Dalton. Spotted from where, bitch? I know. Grass hey, hey, up. listen. Yeah. If you hear, if you hear him breaking through one of these windows over here, do not, do not engage. I have traps set up. I mean, if he shoots him, then we, then we engage. All right, never mind. He's in. Where's he at? There's no way. There's no way. <sighs> hey, yo, Courtney, though, when you go to Michigan, get me that mean green. But for real, do you like their music, my friend? That thing with it, it be... Oh, for did sure. Did she just call 21 Pilots weird music? No, she said their music. Introduce oh. me to their music. Bro. I mean, I don't know how to feel about some of their songs, like some of their newer ones, but like, literally, like my favorite all-time, like 21 Pilots songs is like House of Gold, and uh, Buddy's r remake of uh, what's that song? That oh, Elvis. Some... Yeah, bro. Can't help but falling in love. Yeah. <laughs> that dude, is I... a really good rendition of the song, dude. I bro, shit you not. I, I just, I just like. Cause their their stuff's kind of dark, but like it's not really dark, but like I don't know, it makes you think. Like it has more, it has a lot of meaning. Just like it's see, got a I don't deeper meaning than what like, people realize. I don't care what anyone says. I think in the basement, in the I think NF is one of the best rappers alive. Just because like I like the fact that he's a Christian rapper, and not only that, I just like the fact that he doesn't cuss in his stuff. So like it's all user friendly. It's always a deep message, and it's never, like, he never disappoints. Never about fucking hoes. Yeah, like, I want people to, like, rap about real stuff again. Like, Eminem. Eminem always rapped about real stuff. Like, he rapped about, like, the hardships of being, like, one of the only white rappers in the game growing up and, like, how hard it was. I respect that stuff so much. Because the type of person I want to be... Is he dead? Bro. Yeah, and uh, if you want love, definitely a very good song. <laughs> There's no way, but... I don't know. Are you I, actually fucking kidding me right now? See, I'm just the type of person, like... I like Black Digital Bear. Morning. I just like people who make stuff that's... You would like two feet. That's not what everyone is nor used to hearing. I like people who want to step out of the box, do something different, and actually make a name for themselves doing something that no one would normally do. Like, honestly, NF is one of the only people in the game currently that is not cussing, not talking about stupid stuff. He's actually talking about stuff that people are going through, which... There's two of them. The problem is, as in the U.S. currently, there's such a high rate of depression and such a high rate of just like bad thoughts because like Suicide. no because no one's coming together like everyone's so distant like everyone's like oh we just need peace but literally no one is making the right moves because like i mean i'm guilty of it i'm hypocritical like you walk out and you see people 
you automatically judge them for who they are like their background and everything like that and you you can't do that like so that's why like lately Bro, I've this is podcast talk right here this is podcast talk I, I know I'm just like I'm sick of people claiming they want to change the world but they're not doing anything to do it that's why like that's one reason why I want to start streaming and I want to get a following because like I was always a kid growing up that like yeah people knew me and talked to me but it wasn't really like talking they talked to me just because I talked to them first like I was always an outcast and that's why I love NF is because like I went and saw NF live with my buddy this past October in Columbus and it it was amazing because like his song outcast hit hard for me because like I've always been sort of that weird kid like I think different and like I treat people how I want to be treated I treat everyone with respect I don't know, bro. Titties and beer by Rodney Carrington hits me pretty deep. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> I like how me and Dalton both had the same. Exo Tour of Life by Lil Uzi. I saw that live, bro. I cried. I don't really care if you cry. Shit, bro. You can that, tell that who Patrick cares about. Okay, here's, here's a modern song that just came out. Logic's Confession of a Dangerous Mind. That I have not heard yet. Is it good? It's deep as shit. That and uh, also like Devil's Work by Joyner Lucas. Yeah, that's a pretty good song. Cause like honestly, that like that's that's the stuff that I think about all the time. Like, cause like I mean I, I'm a I'm a religious person. I, okay, I'm not gonna say religious because like I don't believe that you have to go to church every Sunday to believe in God and like so I'm not I'm I'm basically cast out. A lot because like I'm more of a person like you shouldn't just pray praise God on Sunday you, you you need to praise God every day in your life thank him for everything you have because you could be in a much worse situation you could be dead my okay I really enjoy the uh, church that I go to because it like he like the guy that talks is like very deep and like it's a very emotional service like Everybody I've taken to it absolutely loves going to that church. And he said one Sunday, he said, you don't have to be here every Sunday. But if you think you have to be here every Sunday, then you don't believe in God. If you have to come here every single Sunday. That's why I haven't gone in two years. Like, but like, do you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah, I understand. Believing There's in God days. is not... See, I don't like churches because they're cults to me. Because, like, if, because, like, it's always, it's like the same thing. It's always like the same big money families always donating to the church. And they're always getting talked about. Sometimes. Oh, well, I mean, a lot of churches where I'm from, it's how it is. Like, oh, this blah, 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 this such family donated this much money to get the kids the. Hey, bro, I need help. Bible lessons or whatever like some new Bibles or something and like I don't know I just don't I'm not a person that believes that you have to go to church just to be someone that believes to me to me believing is more than just there's no way I don't know, I just wish people would take more time out of their day and think how their actions affect people. Like, I mean, I don't even do it enough currently, but it's something I'm, I'm passionate about starting to do. Is like, I want to take, I want to take at least an hour, at least 20 minutes a day just to reflect on how I acted towards people and just like how I, how I'm perceived by everybody. Like, I don't, I don't want people's thoughts of me to control how I act in the future, but at the same time, if I said something that offends somebody, I want to be able to reflect on it and change it so that way I'm not still doing it the next day. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I still like titties and beer. Liam, we're in a serious convo right now. Lighten the mood, bro. No, bro. This is see. That's the problem. This isn't at you, Liam. But like, that's the problem. When, when serious topics come up, people don't people want to want talk to about. People want to get away from it. They don't want to talk about it. I totally understand. And that, that's why, like, I want to bring them up more often because, like, people nowadays don't like getting in their feelings and actually talking about stuff because 
they're afraid of how people are going to perceive them. Just like in this day and age, as a man, if you are not like benching 200, 300 pounds, like muscular and everything like that, you're not really, you're not really a man. Like if you cry or if you talk about your feelings or something like that, you're not, you're not doing something right. And that makes me mad. Well, I am. Look. So much for a friendly, friendly stream. I just fucking raped him. I just want people to be more truthful with themselves and truthful with other people. Like, the more open people are about, like, I understand putting your insecurities on the line and everything like that is like hard for people. I understand. I'm the same way. But at the same time, if if you don't put yourself out there and be vulnerable, how do you expect other people to feel? Oh, like, yeah, I, I feel yeah. like I like I can't ask someone to be like, "Yo, man, tell me your darkest secret," and I promise I won't tell nobody. But when no one's really doing See, the same when thing, when I was back. in high school, all right. So my junior year of high school, um, we went on this uh, this trip. It was called Kairos, and there's some meaning to the word Kairos. It's a religious meaning, and I don't remember the meaning to it. But it was literally like three or four days where. All of us juniors went to this church in Oldenburg, Indiana. And it, literally all we did for like three or four days was talk about our feelings. And do you know how hard it is for people nowadays to just talk about the feelings? How do you keep missing, Bob? I don't know. Hey, someone's caught in my trap. He's right out by the window. To the left. God, fucking damn it, dude. See, I, I went to sort of something like you did, Lee, and like ours was called Go Mad, and it was in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And basically, it's a big church conference. Like thousands of kids come from every place, like Indiana, Ohio. And my youth group chapter, I was a youth leader at the time, and we went there. And like, bro, there's nothing more like powerful or moving than just seeing everybody come together. Differences I'm aside. Like we had so we had small groups like five six people and then we had the big group which was like uh, 45 people and um, in the small groups you would share like your little secrets like you don't ever tell anybody like what eats you alive at night what hurts you what you know like what you think about and some people talked about like I for one talked about my grandpa because that around was the time where my grandpa passed away and I spent every single weekend at my grandpa's house just because I wanted to be around him, you know? He, like, I didn't want to say he raised me because I come from a really good family. Like, uh, my parents have been nothing but great to me. But I was just around him all the time. And when I lost him, dude, it was, it was hard. But some people talked about how they grew up with literally nothing. And then some people talked about how they're a type of way and nobody accepts them and they have like little to no friends and then there was somebody who talked about the one time they almost committed suicide and everything was confidential they didn't no, none of the teachers are allowed legally to say anything about it to anybody unless it was you know one of those suicidal situations and then they had to contact the police but just hearing everybody's story and how all they all like came up it's like powerful, dude. Like this motherfucking faggot. Get the fucking bitch. Well, it's just crazy because like I I've met people who are like all-star athletes who like you want to expect to ever think of them in that way and like and like the biggest baddest football players in the school. You watch them walk down this church aisle crying because of what they just told you. That shit hits, bro. I know. It's cuz like See, the problem is, is like, I'm not even blaming kids my age, like, for the things that they do. A lot of times, it's their family life. Like, I'm not saying, like, people have bad families and stuff, but it's just, like, a lot of your, like, top athletes in your high school, they're always, like, uh, their dads are always pressuring them because their dads were, like, a college athlete. Like, so you gotta do this, you gotta be this way, you gotta be good at football, whatever. I've met so many people like that, just because, like, they can't help what's going on in their family life and what made them now don't get me wrong you can 
you don't have to be Please like your family. But at the same time, when you're around a certain type of energy for so long, it begins to rub off on you. That's sort of like why I started cutting myself off from negative people. It's because like when you have so many negative people around you so often, you become negative yourself. You don't look at life the same. So that's why like when I'm around people, I, a lot of times called straight because they cry and I'm like, so everyone cries and men should be allowed to. Bro, listen. I'm not going to call Jacob out. He's a good kid. I don't know if he's joking, but him out of everybody should know how hard it is just, just to live in this day and age. Like, I'm not even saying that in a mean way. It's just like, I, I know that he's probably gotten shit for just how he lives his lifestyle. Like, everything like that. And like, I don't know. I, instead of instead of breaking people down, we need to start building people up, and that's the biggest thing to me. Like, that's why. Like, again, I come back to this whole streaming thing, and literally my sole purpose of what I want to do in here is just to t tell people and show people that anything you want to do in life is possible. Like, don't quit your dreams because someone tells you, "Oh, it's not going to work out," because. That, that's just because they didn't follow their dreams because so many people told them the same things you literally don't know what's going to happen until you do it it's just like when you swim for the first time you don't like you don't just be afraid of the water for your whole life you gotta jump in once and just test the waters you gotta I don't know maybe I'm just rambling at this point but I don't know it, the point of it the point of it is is just people I wish people would start we learning one more outside. how how words can we affect people we have one people. going up top he's going to come in through there somebody come right here somebody come in here somebody come in here they had a breach charge on there and destroyed it There's one right outside that door. There's... What's what's P mean, Courtney? I don't know what P means. Yo, what up? Thank you for viewing the chat. We are currently in a very serious conversation, so if you have any input, sit in, talk about it with us, talk about it in chat. Uh, I just want to thank you for viewing my stream, and uh, just don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you join uh, this little family I'm trying to start. Uh, I just want to make a, a a stream or just a YouTube channel where everyone feels welcome. So I hope to see you around in here many more. Just I hope to see you in here often. Just drop your name, say hi, whatever. But we're currently just talking well, about how people need it'd be easier in life if people were a little bit more open. But that can't happen unless I need help. I need help. Everyone. I need help. Okay, I'm here. Oh, dude. I'm screwed. But, dude, it's just crazy. Like, I wish people would take the time out of their day just to talk to somebody and just get to know someone's life. Like, I don't talk to a stranger. Like, honestly, my favorite thing to do is, like, talk to old people. And, like, you, you may think that's funny, but, like, just listening to their stories, how they grew up, where they came from, how they've gotten through life, just how life has changed through the years. You learn so much, and like, I, it's just one of those things. Like, I can't help. Like, that's why I love talking to people because, like, I, I want to travel around, experience new cultures, way of life. Because I feel like the, the more you open yourself to new, new things, new people, the more you can understand, the more you can like accept anything and everything. Is Mark ever gonna get on? Probably not. Fucking pussy. But like I said, if you're new to this chat or anything, just drop your name, say hi, say what's up. Uh, like I said, I can't say it enough. I thank everybody for their support and just it's we're getting somewhere little by little. And if you don't mind, just click that share button, get my name out there. Most of the time, we don't talk about a whole lot of seriousness. We goof around. I do derpy plays in here. I know watching someone play a game is not the best thing to do unless it's something you like to watch but 
if you just want to come in here to for the content, just talking. I like having serious talks because I feel like the more serious talks we have, the better we make the world because the more understanding we can do and the more we can come together. Oh. Bro, when I get in serious talks, bro, my head hurts just because I'm, like, I'm thinking so much. That's a lot of shit to process. Bro, th that's literally what I think about on the daily. Like, when I wake up, like, I just think about how everyone acts towards each other, and it, it's crazy. Ooh, my appointment's at 11.15, I guess I can get down there even sooner. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Also, Is if your computer you're, or not computer, your PS4. Also, if you're new in the chat oh, yeah. and this is your first time watching or your second time watching, uh, me and my boy Shadow District are going to do a podcast tomorrow. It's going to be a more serious one, but we'll probably do a little bit of joking around in there. But uh, it's not going to be live. Uh, it's going to be recorded, so I'm going to put it up on my channel, and he's probably going to put it up on his channel. So when I drop the YouTube video, if you have not yet followed him, uh, go give my boy a follow. Because we're out here trying to change the world one convo at a time. What should the name of the podcast series be? I th uh, I'm not sure. Maybe no, he was serious and not calling him out. It just shows how there's still a stigma that men can't show their feelings. And See, that's what I don't like. Is like, and then and then in this life, there's so much stigma behind every sex, like everybody who, like if you're a male, female, or whatever, like everyone, like if you're an ass of a dude, you think women don't have the same rights, which that's that's not true. That's not how anything ever has been. Because as much as men don't want to admit it, like. Men need women, and women need men. Like, it's one of those things, like... God damn it. I bought us sitting up high. Not no more. She's sitting down low. She's dead. Bono. Well, no. I was testing to see if it would post, because my internet went down for a second. Oh, okay. I understand. But I don't know. See, that's that's just the one thing that really makes me mad nowadays. It's just I wish people would be more understanding rather than more judgmental. And the problem is, is it's just society in and in, in of itself. Because people don't want people don't want to face the hard facts. Because, granted, every single person on this planet Earth is different in some way or another. Heal me, Liam. Never mind. Thanks. Dude, I, I really hope I can become big on a stream and just... Because that's one thing. Another thing that really bugs me at the end of the day is because, like... My... Like, my big influence, sort of like Liam... Liam's was just my grandpa, like... I, me and my grandpa, we did everything together growing up. Like, I basically lived with him and my grandma. And he taught me so much. Like, who I am today as a person and how I treat people is because of my grandpa. Because he literally, he took the time out of his day to do things for people that, honestly, he didn't even need to do. Like, the, just a quick example. Like, there was uh, one of our neighbors where I live back home. Uh, they had a dog. They had two dogs. And they had had no dog house. I mean, it's the owner's fault, but like he always left them outside in the wind and the rain, and they had nowhere to go. And my grandpa, he was a master craftsman, so like he he went and bought a bunch of wood from like Lowe's or something, and then he built them a nice dog house, and then just took it down there one day while the homeowner was not there and set it up. And then when the homeowner came down or came out, like he sort of called my grandpa because he knows my grandpa was like one of the only master craftsmen where I live. And he asked my grandpa, he's like, you do this? My grandpa's like, yeah. He's like, he got mute. He's like, you just need to do things for other people because you got to treat everyone like they're your family. 
And like that's something till this day that I cherish. Like if it wasn't for my grandpa, I don't think I I would have turned out how I have. And it just goes to show like th if you're selfless in this society, people look down on you because they're always like, "Why are you doing this for people that may not deserve it?" And it's like, "Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you out here trying to better someone's life?" Like I not everyone is going to have the same like the same way of growing up like people are going to have it rougher than I have growing up because I mean I didn't even have it very rough growing up and I don't know I just feel like like I like it keeps on saying as, as long as people just treat each other how they want to be treated and just just be kind I don't I think the world will be a better place in the end now don't get me wrong I don't think it's ever going to change in the long run but like at the end of the day a little bit of ki a little bit of kindness goes a long way I think Angus watch out thank god you ran into that Yo, what up? Thank you everybody for coming in and watching, sitting down. We're sort of having a serious conversation, so if you want to message in the chat, just be a part of it. Go ahead. Basically, the topic is, is what can we do to make the world a better place? And just, for me, it's just being more understanding. Like, talking to people, knowing how they live, and just being able to comprehend that not everyone is always going to be the same. Over there. Yeah, I know. Hold on a second. But if you're in here, just drop your name in the chat. Say hi, what's up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share if you can. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm trying to get to a hundred, a hundred subscribers. I mean, I know a hundred's not a lot, but just anything counts. I want to be a person that is there for people whenever they're down and just. As for people to have a place to go so like I said even if you view this for five minutes 30 seconds an hour three hours whatever I just thank you all for being here supporting me it means a whole lot and I can't thank everyone enough <laughs> a deadly burrito killed me and he just messaged me I'm sorry bro my bad See, if I had the money right now, I want to start a campaign. Like, it's gonna, it'd be a hard campaign to start, but like, I, I want to, I want there to be like a kindness campaign. Like, like, this gonna sound dumb, but like this happened to me once. Like, I think it's happened to everyone at least once. You ever been going through like a McDonald's drive-through or something, and then like, you go to get to the window to pay, and then the people are like, pay it forward, bro. Pay it yeah, forward. the the people in front of you. That's a movie with uh, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, like that. Who honestly, the fuck is Kevin Spacey. But l listen, here's what's crazy: is like, let's say, let's say you're the person that paid for the car behind you. You don't know who that person is or what they're going through. They could have kids that they have to feed. They could be running low on money. They could just be having a shitty day in general, and just that one act of kindness can change their whole perspective for that day. And then, like, just just the thought of that is like beyond like my belief because like it's just the th thoughtless things that people do that mean the most <clears throat> so honestly like I want to start a trend basically a pay it forward trend I know there's plenty out there there's a bunch of people that already do that stuff like I know big youtubers and stuff but like I don't want it to be well, I gotta take my dip out I just don't want it to be at like I don't believe people should like profit off them doing something good like I don't really like it when youtubers will go well, out I mean, you're and basically I only want to say you're targeting mr. beast but mr. beast basically does that his, uh, his whole I mean like you have to think about it from a business perspective the only reason he's able to do the things he does is because of the re he posts it on YouTube which I mean okay so the, okay I'm not gonna say there's a difference because it's all sort of the same but like at the same time it's Mr. Beast, I feel like, is doing it 
for the the good of other people versus a lot of YouTubers are just like, man, this is going to be get me crazy views. Which I which I do understand that that's that's how he got big and how he makes money to actually help other people. And like I respect that. But it's it's the thing where like Angus, if there's someone right out here just so you know. All right, but like it's just the thing like if you're purposely going on you on YouTube and be like go and give a homeless man like twenty dollars, that that shit pisses me off. Because like you're literally videotaping you supposedly helping out an old man or like a homeless man or whatever, and in reality you're just doing it for personal gain. Did you get him because I marked him or because he peeked? Because he peeked. Fuck! They're on site. They're on site. They're on site. Bro, that's crazy. Just I, just, I just went from like four viewers down to zero. I mean one. My bad, Courtney. You're still here. But I literally had like four people in here, and then I feel like I got too serious for them, and they're like, nope. Or maybe they're going to come back, and maybe they're just spreading the word. Who knows? I hope they're spreading the word. <laughs> but, oh, I've been several minutes back in the stream so all my responses have probably been way late <laughs> lol I mean they've been pretty on time for me but honestly like I know Dalton has and I know you have Liam but Courtney if you know anybody just shout are me you out. actually fucking kidding me? I know my content's not gonna be for everybody but like I would appreciate the sharing of my name just get me out there and just tell your friends to share and tell their friends to share and uh, I just want to build a family out here because I honestly I feel like that's the biggest thing people want in life is just a place where they belong like they felt comfortable we got on this attack oh you fucking slut <laughs> you knew who I was gonna get for You know what time it is, boys? I don't know. I, I can't read. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! Shut it off! <laughs> shut it off! <laughs> No, I'm serious. I can get copyrighted on that stuff. Dude. Uh, we do not own the rights. Actually, I do own the rights to that song, but you know what? It's okay. I paid for it. Yeah, but you don't own the rights to play that song through anything. Uh, They're in the basement again. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dalton, I'm actually kind of pumped for tomorrow, though, bro. Dude, same here. Dalton, bring your TV <sighs> and your PS4. Alright, bet. I'm about to cash out. We can get I'm... another gaming session in. Bro, with me and Dalton in the same house. Bro, me and Dalton are going to be split screening. <laughs> split screen Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> Oh, you fucking whore. Oh my god. How am I dying? Oh my god, it was smoke. Good shit, boys. Good fucking shit. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Angus going off with a 5k. There, there can't be 5k without a 4 0 Liam. 500. 
Bro, I want to have a game where I get 5,000 points. I've had like one in my life in Siege. Your back might start hurting after that game from fucking carrying the team. <laughs> Bro, I feel like it's playing on the PC. Bro, if we are in keyboard and mouse. We are in this stream, boys. We are at two hours and six minutes. About to be seven minutes. If we could get a fourth, I'd say we should do Uno. I'm not switching because every time I switch, it literally shuts my one stream down and makes me have like four videos titled the same thing and. Dalton's brother makes fun of me for it, so I'm not about to have him making fun of me for it. Dalton, I want your brother to be in on this stream so he knows to treat people nice. Where he <laughs> sleeps. What fucking map are we on? Oh, okay. I like hey, Courtney. Map. I know I already asked this. And Dalton, Liam. I want everybody to share the crap out of the podcast tomorrow once me and Dalton film it and get it up. Spread the word. Tell them check out me and Dalton's channel. Like I said, if people view mine, I'll have the link down for Dalton's below. But I want to get a lot of – because I feel like these – I want these podcasts to be funny some days but yet serious so that I feel like – because I feel like personally me and Dalton, we could – Oh, good, good stuff, Court Dog. But I just feel like me and Dalton, we can me Dalton. You do realize the power of social media that we could influence on people, right? I mean, obviously oh you know. Here. And like that, that's why I love YouTube because it's crazy. Because I, I, I was, I'm kind of a geek in the fact of YouTube. But I was sitting there reading, and like YouTube was nothing back in like 2005. Like. It was. It wasn't even. It was, I mean, it's a platform that people made, but like no one really, no one really took it as serious. Like I'm pretty sure. Like, it wasn't it, relevant back there in 2005. Yeah. It wasn't but, as relevant as it is now. In 2005, you couldn't go YouTube. How to change the oil in your 2017 Jeep Cherokee? But nowadays, oh my God, Caviera, stupid bitch. Yeah, I'm just saying it's crazy how the impact on social media, how YouTube has become. Because, like, me personally, I don't even watch, like, TV no more. I only watch YouTube. Because, literally, whatever you watch on TV, there's something on YouTube about it. Or, like, close to it. I like watching Naked and Afraid Uncensored just to watch the balls slung around. I don't even like... See, I would watch Naked and Afraid, but they're never naked nor afraid. Good shit, Andy. Good shit. They're, they're, down, they're downstairs coming up from basement. There's I a Monty. I know I keep blabbering on and on, but, like, dude, when I get on serious topics, I can't help but, like, just keep thinking. Thank you, Liam. I just... I don't know. I just can't wait until, like... I just want to be able to change one person's life. I don't, I don't care. I mean, if I can change more than one, great. But honestly... Hey, bro, he's over here. He's over here. Anything, as long as I change one person's life or help them get through something, that's all I care about. Well, last I seen, he's over here. Don't rush, don't rush. Are you going to push in? I was. If you're gonna... If you're gonna push, let me stay me real quick. Walk forward. Like, you don't even need cable. Cable's trash nowadays. Honestly. Oh my god, that was my pistol. I am so stupid. <laughs> this kill cam. <laughs> it's literally you versus Capital. Good luck. Oh, there he is. Which way is he going? To the right or to the left of me? He should be coming to your left, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'll switch back. Alright, he's... Liam, Ready? I have an overview of that entire uh, living room to your left. 
Like I could see upstairs and everything. <laughs> Toxic. But Pega megaphone. <laughs> I almost fucking reamed that hostage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, gotcha. She, she was on her knees, bro. She was, she was really out there on her knees, bro. Could you imagine being a hostage? Not really. I'd probably just do everything they fucking tell me. You know, see, most people would be like, oh no, dude, I'd get out of there somehow, you know, I'd fucking throw a punch and take the gun and kill everybody. No, you would not. You'd be a little fucking whore. You'd be their bitch. Well, no, think about it, because, like, uh, us, I don't know, like, whenever I watch, like, a war movie, like, with hostage and stuff, like, torture, like, I cannot imagine being so, like, headstrong, like, not giving any information out while being tortured, like, literally excruciating pain. Have you ever seen any, like, war movies of POWs and how they, yeah. like, got their kits to get out of there? Like, back in World War Two, they were, like, it was a war law, I guess you could say, that they could receive mail. And they would send them, like, board games and shit. And they would be, like, lock-picking kits and, like, microscopic, not microscopic, but really, really small, right there upstairs, radios for the time. And they could, like you know, get out of there. It's fucking insane. They're not upstairs. What the fuck? Yeah, they are upstairs. But, um, I saw a picture the other day. There's a secret hand sign in the military. Like, if you put your finger between, your, your thumb between your fingers, when you're taking a picture with somebody, it means you're being coerced or something. Peeking, they're peeking. Like, they're, they're threatening you to take the picture like you take the picture or something's gonna happen to you and there's a picture of a navy seal with us overseer, with uh hillary clinton and he's got his thumb between his fingers like have you guys ever read up on that no i've heard something about that i can't read i forgot yeah, I always forget. I got ni I got 19 health in a dream, boys. I need help. What the fuck? Are you Where actually are you sitting? This dude is an ACOG on an MP5. I respect it. F-35 dogfight accidentally re resulted in a sky penis, officials say. This defensive maneuver is known as the Slippery Dick, and was coined that by Major Richard Dick Nelson of the 41st FG Fighter Group, who created it during Vietnam. While the F-4 wasn't as maneuver maneuverable as the MiGs, it could, turn it could outrun it. One ball, quote-unquote, would be the F-4 turning to get better situational awareness. The shaft would be the F-4 punching it in the head, it turning around, forcing the MiG to slow down again, followed by the other side of the shaft, and the final ball.
Go, 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 go. That's a chance. Good effort, I appreciate it. Those kids are so sick right now though. That dude literally stood and stared at me for the longest time in that window. He's just like, yo, what? Bro, he should be fucking dead. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I won't fuck up this time, Dalton. I won't shoot you. In the back of the fucking head. <laughs> That was funny as fuck. <laughs> bro, I feel like I, I feel like I've been more lonely lately. Cause every night that I've been sleeping, I've been cuddling my other pillow. I always like, cuddle my pillow. Like I always wrap it up in my arms real tight and like fall asleep with it. And I'm just like, do you put I... a pillow between your legs? Sometimes. Yes. Yes, dude. It's literally fucking life changing. Did you know a fun fact? Most people have messed up backs and stuff because they sleep with pillows. Yeah, it's also because nobody buys the mattresses so they can convert their that's comfortable for their body. So whenever they lay on pillows it ends up like messing up their spinal formation. Yo what up? Thanks for viewing the chat. Uh, just drop your name, say what's up, uh, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and sh share my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to get up to a hundred, never mind, they left already. Does anybody have an impact grenade? No. Maybe they patched it, you used to be able to get in the cabinet down here. Dude, who... Hey Liam, there's a hatch right there. That's fine. Hey Liam, can you shoot me with a... Thank you. <laughs> Blow through it again, bitch. <laughs> they have Thatcher. God dang it. You know what? Watch out. I got I got an impact grenade. Move. No. It's my kill. Go for it. I just gave them a bigger hole to come. They're on the stairs. Yo, what up? Thank you for viewing the chat, viewing the stream. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Drop your name in the chat. Just say what's up. Uh, I'm trying dead. to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year. I know that's kind of a weird goal, but to me it being a lot. But just sit in for some hopefully funny commentary to you guys and some whack gameplay. If you would have been here a little, probably like. 40 minutes ago, you would have saw me murking kids. But, like I said, just drop your name in the chat, say what's up. It means a lot to me. Bro, literally, these kids are making me mad. They've been like every. They have like everything in the book. Bro, explode through the wall. Motherfuckers. Bro, what is that helmet? That is cool. Oh, the Thatcher helmet? Yeah. Thing's sick. Is Bro, is that Gregory? Cause if that's Gregory, we got we got half the Domino staff in here. 
Also, if this is Gregory, we also got Courtney in the chat. Say what's up. We about to be on here, boys. <laughs> you know what? Now I got to clutch up because Greg's Gregory's in here. My bad, Gregory. I know it slips sometimes. One of these days, I hope I get the G card. Dalton, go look at what I just sent you on Instagram by Drake. About to be smacking kids. Gregory, you missed some of the most intense conversations. You can get back and watch it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, same place as we were. They got Cavera. Oh, man. Dude, these three day days off are messing me up, man. Because, like, I'll literally stay up late every night, and then on Friday, I'm just like, bro, I gotta get to bed by, like, 11. It's tearing me up. 10 seconds, I'm about to go full balls to the walls on these kids. Yo, if you got a, if you got a mint jewel next to you, rip it with me on three. Jewel gang, one, two, three. Are you promoting nicotine addiction? <laughs> nope. <laughs> We've talked about... Do we have a hard breacher? BDSM and the whole spectrum. <laughs> She's not wrong. Alright, watch out. Listen, I'm coming through. Oh, fuck. Okay. God damn it, Dalton. Uh, I can't get through yet. Pull on like right there. Nope. About to tear my fucking head off. Yeah, I can't get in. I hate my life. I thought this was gonna be simple. <sighs> I, got, I got kicked. You have Angus trying to fucking play it slow, and you have me just running and going. What do you mean? I'm right God next to you. Damn it! What do you mean? Go. Oh, they're not happy, bro. They are not fucking happy. Hey, babe. I just got smacked. Hey babe, you know, just out here with the boys. What up, babe? Yeah. Gregory, man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive tomorrow, bro. <laughs> my arms, like, I'm just sitting here. I've never played with my arms more limp in my lap before. Like, it just hurts to like lift my arms. How hard to play with it, bro? It's terrible. I'm, I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm doing it. I haven't even got a shower yet because I'm scared. Angus, I am saying we have a pre-smoke sesh for the uh Now by pre-smoke sesh are we talking about the devil's lettuce? CC. Well you see I don't have no money, but I, I mean... got money. We, we, what do we need? Like, I mean, I can go cash in some quarters. I got like fifty dollars in quarters. <laughs> you got you... Some... Well, okay, time out. Could you imagine going to a drug dealer's house? I'm not talking to crackhead because they're the crackhead. Crack dealers are used to change. All right, but if you get if you. Courtney, when you gonna come work out with us? When you gonna get swole? Welcome to be part of the swole nation. Did Liam leave? Did, did Liam just leave without saying goodbye? I am sick. I don't. Mm. 
most do, but like, could you imagine? Okay, okay, I've paid for stuff and change before because it's all I have. But like, here's what upsets me, is when people bring pennies to pay for stuff. I was like, listen, I understand it. I've been through hard times, but the best thing to do is go take those pennies to a bank, cash them in for the, like, dollar bills. Or at least bigger, better, bigger quarters. I really should probably enjoy it with people, I can tell. See, Courtney, me and Dalton, we don't really, uh, we don't, uh, really talk much. Uh, not Dalton, me and Gregory, we don't really talk much. We just in there getting gains! Just kidding. We talk a lot. But honestly, like, working out with friends is fun. Just because, like, if you have the right people there to motivate you and keep you going, it helps. But at the same time, I feel like I make Gregory mad because, like, me and him will be talking for, like, maybe a minute. And then I'll instantly just put my headphone back in and go in for my reps and sets. And I'm just like, I feel bad, Gregory, but you got to put in the work. Hey, can you check see if Liam got offline? He just left the party. And the game. Hold on, I'll wait for him. I'll see if he comes back. Because he left the game, too. He's not in here. Because I became party leader. Oh, he might have got, dis got disconnected, man. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for him. See if he comes back in. Alright chat I have done the same bro yeah if you chat what do you want what what do we what do we want to talk about we've already been through through some serious stuff some nonsense but what do we really want to talk about also gregory if you haven't heard uh me and my boy dalton aka the man up in the top left with the beard it's not real, really a picture of him as you know it's, 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 it's like a gamer ID but me and him we are actually going to be hanging out tomorrow and we're going to do a podcast now it's going to be taped so it's not going to be live so no one's going to miss anything but you want to have to check it out tomorrow I don't know what time we're going to do it but it should be up and posted by what do you say Dalton good time probably like six o'clock it should be posted by um yeah six o'clock might be able to later but yeah see I don't know see I have an iPhone and last time I tried uploading from an iPhone it won't let me do anything over 15 minutes but I definitely want the podcast to be longer than 15 minutes so yo what up Thank you for joining the stream. If you have not yet, drop your name in the chat just so I know who's here. I thank you for the support. We're currently waiting on someone to join back. So just drop in, start up some convo, and just just chill with us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share your boy's channel. It'd mean a lot. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers this year, if not more. Yo, it's your boy, Skinny Penis. You know what I really... Okay. I know everyone would enjoy this. Screw TikTok. I want Vine back. I want Vine back 100%. Let me know your opinions, chat. You think Vine should come back? Because me personally, I do. TikTok just isn't cutting it. Because it's... As Cody Ko, a man I respect so much, as he said... It takes the creativity out of what people are actually making. It's literally pre-set up things. And like basically no one's being creative. They're just taking other people's stuff who have been creative. People, stay in your own lane. Think outside the box. And do stuff that most people would not do. Okay. My my chat my chat and everything's gonna be paused a second. I'm just gonna see if my boy Liam's still on and is gonna get back on with us. Um, 
I think he got off. Yeah, he got off, Dalton. Alright, uh, so we're just going to play without him because apparently he got off without telling us and saying goodbye. I don't know if we can be friends with him. I'm just kidding. We'll always be friends. I'm going to snap him though. I'm going to be like, listen here. Where'd you oh. go? I'm in your game. No, not you. Oh, wait till you see the weapon skin I got for Jaeger. Dude, I'm kind of happy they named a person Jaeger. Oh, he wants to sleep, bruh. Maybe, but then we would have to deal with more uh, Logan and Jake. So, uh, bro, listen here. Me and Courtney have already had this conversation. Logan and Jake Paul, I don't care if they ever see this, even if I become a big enough streamer or YouTuber for them to see this. Bro, they are so dumb just for the fact that, bro, their teacher diss had me rolling. Like, it's so cringy. It's so bad. And the crazy thing is, but the teachers did a diss track back and destroyed them. True, but they're everywhere. We have to take the good. <sighs> See, the problem is, is nowadays there's more bad outweighing the good. Because so, so many people are just literally like, yeah, I'm out here because I want to make money. Don't get me wrong, I want to make some money too. But like, people aren't making it in the right way. People are literally just doing stuff, being stupid, and that makes me mad. But then again, a lot of stuff nowadays makes me mad. So what, so what you going to do about it? I really want to know who the third viewer is in here, so if you could drop your name in the chat, I just want to know who you are. Let's see if they drop their name. Just say what's up. Oh shit, I didn't know there was two bombs. Oh well, we'll heavily protect one. I'll protect it like it's my child. I don't think the third person's gonna drop their name. Or not even their name, just say hi. I, ah, they left. Gad. Yeah. Oh, Angus here. Look at my weapon. Oh, jeez, nice. There's people around here, don't they? Yeah, no, I hear them. Get unfused, Bob. found a rubber glove. I don't know where it came from. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. You tell Jiggy to give it up. The jig is up. <laughs> it still got you. Oh my good. I aced. I aced. Bro, the clutch master of this round is going. Alright, so is Gregory still in here or is that Courtney or just Courtney internet take a dookie? Dude, Jiggy is the magician. Jiggy the magician. Get Jiggy with it. Hey, hey.
Hey, they both are here. See, I get mad. Like, my, my stuff is so laggy. Because, like, it always says there's only one person in chat, but then two people pop up in chat, and then I'm just like, I don't know. It's magicians. Hey, I got a question. I've n I haven't lived in the good old Nell Nellyville for a long time. I know most of the time if you gotta take like coins to the bank, I know you have to have them in rolls. But can I just like roll up to any bank and just be like, "Yo, can I can I trade these ten dollars in quarters for like ten dollars?" Or do I, do they have to be in rolls? I feel like they have to be in rolls. At least that's how it was back home. Yeah, that's the way it is up here. That's sad. Which, granted, it's not that much for rolls. Only one, so I think it's just YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's on some, some dumb stuff. Also, hey Gregory. Also, I I th I don't I forget who I I forget who I always tell this to, but. If you haven't already, share the name Deadly Spooner on Facebook. Get me out there to your friends, family, anybody you know. Have their, have your family's friends or your friends' friends or your friends' friends' friends. Just spread the name. Yeah, nice try, Bob. Where have I been spotted from? I don't know. That's what's pissing me off. Hey, 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 on me, on me, on me, on me, 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 me. That's Kavera. I'm sick and tired of dying to Kaveras. What? But where's a coin star at? Oh, dude, is there, is there a coin star in Kroger? I think there is. It takes part of your money. Yeah, like a dollar or something, depending on how much you have. Bro, I'm going to Coinstar tomorrow, Dalton. Before we do this podcast, we're, 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 we're going to Coinstar. Are we able? Okay, I have a question. Are we able to get smoke or no? Oh, for sure. That's not a question that you need to ask, big homie Angus. I probably shouldn't say that on my stream, but... <laughs> yeah, bro, I know where we can get them cigarettes at. Oh, skirt! looked under my door and I saw a light and I got scared. I thought the FBI was breaking in. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes sir, I heard you were getting too swole. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I've never felt so weak in a gym in my life until I went to Planet Fitness today. Like, I was benching on the Smith machine because I don't have any, like, free weights. Bro, I put a 45 on each side and, like, 10s. And that's only, like, with the Smith machine, that's only like 120 pounds, if that. Not even. It's maybe 115, and like I was barely getting it up. Now, granted, I did shoulders and chest the day before, and arms, so I feel like that might have an effect on me. But either way, I felt like a turd. Yeah, I definitely think I'm changing my main to Jaeger on defense. locations 
I'm a turd? That's terrible. That's terrible, Bob. Someone just, I just got called a turd because I can't lift much, alright? Just because I'm a big kid doesn't mean I'm going to lift a lot. That's a myth. You know what's my favorite thing in the world? What? So, me and Scott were at Planet Fitness before uh, we left, before I left for the military. And there was this big, like, there was like a heavier set dude in there. Um, there was, I could hear people snickering about him. Saying like, oh, you know, you know what, I wonder what this guy's going to lift, like, like 20 pound weights. This dude put every 45 Planet Fitness had on the bench and benched it. <laughs> Bro, I'm sick and tired of getting shit on bad people. Like, literally. One friendly remaining. You fucking kidding me? Lay down. You're more or less of a target. I honestly probably want to. Yeah, they're probably playing another bomb. for you, Bob. I don't know if it will help, but... <gasps> bro, you were going off like I was a couple games earlier, bro. Bro, there's just something about it. Like, once, once you get, like, the first three kills, the other ones always come. Like, not simple, but, like, you're just locked in. Like... Courtney, you're a turd. Bro, Courtney, listen here. You literally hit a pole your first delivery drive. Day of deliveries. Alright. If anyone's a turd here, you're a turd. Gregory, I forgot to text my mom about those cars. She's gonna be mad. She'll be like, listen, you told me you were gonna do this. Listen, mom, I will. Alright, Bobski, I think I'm gonna call the stream at like one o'clock. Yeah, I looked at a couple of them, honestly. Like, I already, I, I was looking through them this morning. It's just, I don't know. Out of all the thoughts, like, it's crazy because, like, if I actually get approved for one, they'll bring it right to me. Which, that, that's nutty. I get approved for what? A car. I've been having trouble getting a car lately. Uh, what are you looking again? Uh, I'm not sure yet, honestly. I'll probably end up getting a Ford Focus. Like the ST or? I don't know, just a Ford Focus. Honestly, I hate to say this because I know it's going to come back to bite me in the butt, but like. Any car other than mine will be better currently, but at the same time, if I'm going to spend a decent amount of money, I want it to be something I am I like. On me! Gosh. I really got to poop.
What does her interrogation do? That just kills you quietly. Where are they? We gotta clutch up this round. Honestly, this might be my last match because I really gotta use the restroom. Like, not trying to be weird or nothing, but like. Oh no, same here. <laughs> like, but, like I said, not to be weird, but it's turtle heading, bro. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say who took Jaeger. I don't know, I was, I was getting salty. Time to clutch up. Bro, I don't care how disgusting this is, but like... No one, like, if people think farts smell bad, there is nothing worse than a freaking protein fart, my dude. Oh my god. Below me has no kills and is in second place. I know it's because he got he has like three assists. Oh. Dude, I'm oh my goodness, I'm done with this. Yeah, this has I went from being really good earlier to just turning into trash. Bro, Buddy is on his turret like no other. I hear them running up the stairs. When you hear that magical tuk, 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 it's time to leave. Clutch up. Friendly, last operator standing. Hey, they're one probably plant in the other room. He's gonna come to your left. Don't worry about him. Worry about Dalton. What is Dal this garbage aim? Dalton! Oh my gosh, I got that on the stream too. My boy going nuts. Alright. Everybody who viewed the stream tonight, big shout out to my two good homies, Courtney and Gregory. Thank you for the support. Thank you for sharing my name out there. Thank you for everything you do. 
thanks for the good convo. Uh, but most of all, like I said, stay tuned tomorrow. We will have a podcast or something like a podcast coming out tomorrow. It should be pretty lit. should be pretty good. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoys it. Don't forget, like I said, share it. Get me out there. But I couldn't do this without all of you. Thank you. And this is going to be good night, y'all. Have a good night. Sleep well. Court dog, be safe. Going to Michigan. Gregory, I will probably see you tomorrow because I will probably stop in at Domino's. And matchmaking. Yeah. All right, but like I said, thank you guys. Good night. And I'll be on tomorrow or something. Most likely. Deuces. Dooskies.